Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to us, we have a 1989 Dodge Shadow Carroll Shelby, so it's a CSX VNT. So that VNT stands for Variable Nozzle Turbo. Be sure to like and subscribe below so we can give you more content like this. This is the first of our K car purchases, but not the first of my K car motor purchases. So we've sold four Mosler Consoleers, which share the same engine as this vehicle right here. That's a 2.2 liter variable vane turbo. So the actual mouth of the, or variable nozzle turbo. So the mouth of the exhaust side opens and closes based on the wastegate. And that allows you to get instant torque at 2100 RPM. So you get 15 pounds of boost at 2100 RPM. And then you have big turbo feeling because it closes down that that passageway and allows you to hold the boost. The paint on it is exotic red, it's extremely clean. The hood has been replaced, so we had a family come over here, father and son, right when we listed it on Instagram, which you should follow, it's Bullet Motorsports, uh, and they walked around it and they told us a little bit more history about the car. So it's 100% original other than the uh, Carroll Shelby badging on the side missing, and the hood has been replaced, so it does have a aftermarket style hood. There's tons of Carroll Shelby insignias throughout. So your seats have insignias with Shelby along with your door cards. And then you do have a placard inside the uh, inside of here where the, where the dash meets to all the gauges and then under the hood as well. The paint quality on this car I would say is a seven out of 10. It's a driver quality car. It also has the very sought after Shelby fiber ride wheels. These are actually plastic, which I've never heard of that being used before on a car, but there you go, right there. The engine itself, that, very, that VNT technology was not used in production until 2006 again with the 997 uh, Porsche, so the 997 Turbo. That's another neat fact. So they were ahead of their time with the technology that was pushed out of this, out of this machine. Carroll Shelby said this was one of his favorite cars, but I'm pretty sure that if you watch Ferrari vs. Ford, his uh, Cobra car was probably his favorite. Let's go ahead and open up the interior and pop the hood. So they only produced 500 of these. I'm gonna show you under the hood. This is number 379 out of the 500 produced. Engine bay is very clean and very uh, original. We did replace the coil, spark plugs, and wires. We also did it, uh, we had to, to flush out the fluids as well because the gasoline was like lacquer, uh, filters as well. So you've got your Shelby insignia right here and then it also is played into the manifold. That's your intake manifold. Your turbo lays behind here and that's the original turbo. A lot of guys would put the turbo or the, the, the second style of this turbo in here, which would be a bigger one, you'd have lag. This has no lag at all and you're gonna see it in our test drive. You've got your intercooler up front and your stock radiator. And then as I said, the hood is aftermarket but it's very clean. Still has a stock, I mean, I heard that these are very hard to find. They're probably like 500 bucks. And also, I'm not a K-Car expert, so if I say something wrong, just write it in the comments below so we can get the right information to the people that are looking at it. Here's your serialization right here for the serial number for that motor. That's pretty neat as well. And I know the grill is also signature of it, along with the body, the skirts on the side. And uh, the company that made those is Kaminari Aerodynamics, which are still in business. They still produce pieces for, I would say, most manufacturers in the United States from the Dodge uh, platform all the way to, to Subaru. Let me close it. All the lines are pretty even. So this, this car has never been in an accident, has a clean Carfax. You're getting yourself a hell of a deal for a collectible car. Let's go ahead and look inside here. I'm gonna open up the other door while you look at the driver's side. So you have the Carroll Shelby steering wheel, the seats and the door cards to take a look at. Shifter is original, it's never been modified. And then you have your boost gauge in the center as well. And that goes to 15 pounds. And it's pretty neat how fast this thing spools up. You also have CSX right here. And the rear seats are, are uh, embroidered in that Shelby signature as well. It's like it, no one has ever sat back there. I can almost hear uh, White Snake playing through these paper speakers that Dodge put in here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Let me open up the trunk for you. So back here, you're gonna have the signature wing for this model. 
And this is also, you can purchase this. So say you have a regular shadow, you can actually make it look like this with those body pieces that I talked about earlier. There's a the trunk. Got a little protector piece right here. All the shocks work as they should. And then underneath here, you're gonna have your spare tire. See that? No rust, very solid. It's a cool car overall. Let me close it. I'm gonna start it up for you and we'll go for a ride. Okay, so I'm gonna start it up right now. Push the clutch in. Starts right up. Uh, when we purchased it, it had bad fuel in the tank and I think the ECM is still holding a code. So the check engine light is coming on. I didn't want to clear it yet. We're going to bring it to the shop before anybody buys it to find out what the code is. But in regards to drivability, it's running and driving as it should. Horn works, your shifter works as it should. And when you come inside here, you're going to see how nice everything is. Headliner is in excellent shape. Radio works. As I said, you could, you could literally sit in this thing and just picture white snake pouring out of those paper speakers. Transmission is a Getrag A555, so it's a limited slip transmission. You're going to pull up for the reverse and go uh, towards the driver. Jump on in, let's go for a ride. We're inside the cockpit right now. You can see the steering wheel, it's very nice. Uh, minor imperfections, but nothing crazy. You've got your Shelby boost gauge right here, which operates. How awesome is that? Uh, headliner, as I talked about before, is very clean, but this one right here, I uh, have been growing my mustache from November, and when I opened this thing up, I kind of shattered the glass. But we have tried to source one of these, and we're going to get one. We're going to go into first gear. I'm going to push the clutch in, put it into first, and watch. I'm going to pull the clutch out super soft so you can see that it'll start to roll on its own and not have a chatter, and we're moving. I'm going to completely engage the clutch, no issues at all. And then when we get on Ravenswood, I'll show you what I mean in regards to VNT technology. So if you do have one of these, you're very familiar with uh, the buildup of sediment in the turbo from the exhaust. You can get them cleaned up and a lot of people replace those turbos. This one's never been replaced, so that kind of makes it more valuable. But watch what happens once we get past this van. I'm just going to drive it normally. You're going to feel the boost kick in. You can watch the boost gauge as well. You also have your radio here and then your air condition, which works as it should. There's your placard. Here we go. So watch, 2100, watch the boost gauge. You can just feel the boost kick in. It's nice and soft. So awesome. So they also worked with the suspension on this car to make it handle a little better so you can downshift it and take corners with no issues. And then the turbo just builds up so quickly. It's a really fun car to drive. If you're looking to get into the Carroll Shelby or collector market for the under $15,000 mark, this is the car to go for. You're gonna realize that low production vehicles are the ones that are gonna be collectible in the future. Not a Ford Mustang, that just they produced millions of them. This is the piece. This is what you're looking for. But also, if you're looking for a Ford Mustang, we have five in stock. Why do you think Carroll Shelby I think he did it just to sell cars. Um, he was working with a big manufacturer at the time, Ford. And it's funny if you watch the Ferrari vs. Ford movie, they talk about oh, Carroll Shelby left racing to, to sell used cars or cars, and this is what they're talking about. He was starting to produce these, uh, these special vehicles for the manufacturers, and actually he did a great job. I mean, this is a fun car to drive. Also, I'm not a K-car professional, so if I give you guys wrong information, tell me. It'll help you out in the future. So we're going through the gears right now. Um, I'm in second. You can feel the boost kick in. Third. It's really smooth too, so the delivery is good. There's no missing from the engine. Brakes feel great. Uh, the tires are not dry rotted where you're gonna have issues with rotating mass. And then let's put it in fifth gear and test out the clutch. So I'm in fifth, no slippage at all. 
and you can see the boost is building and it's pulling evenly. And we're going over some bumps. No sounds from this product, unbelievable. I think everybody in their family has had a Dodge Shadow or like a Neon at some point, but this is like, this is like the creme de la creme of, of that model. What I'd like to do now is go into first gear and give it a little bit of a roll so you can see the speed that this thing will produce. So we're gonna start off in first gear. I'll let the boost build. I'm gonna shift at around 5,400 RPMs. I don't wanna to go to red line. So let's, let's get it to, here we go. That's 60 miles an hour. That's really fast, actually, if you think about it, for 89. This, is, this has the same amount of horsepower as a Fox Body Mustang. If you have any questions about it, give us a call, 954-363-2261. And as I said before, if you know more information about this type of car, don't hesitate to leave a comment below because that's gonna help us learn so we can give proper information to consumers. Also, this has never been registered in the CSX registry, so that's a really big plus. So the next owner can get it and they can actually put their name on this vehicle. 954-363-2261.